So uh, when I went to Brazil uh, for the World Championships in 1998, wow, uh, I didn't really know anything. Like I, you know, I, and the thing was, I was going there. I called Carlos Gracie Jr. and I didn't get an answer. And it's getting closer. I called him again, didn't get an answer. You're sweating. So my flight's booked, right? And I'm I'm getting ready to get on a plane. I'm flying into to Brazil, uh, into into Rio, and finally I get an answer back from him and it says, "I'll meet you at the airport." So uh, I arrived. The airport's huge. I don't speak the language. I stumble outside, you know, all confused. And there's Carlos, and uh, I hop in his car, and he drives me uh, from the airport into into to Baja, wow, uh, suburb of Rio. And I mean, he's a crazy driver. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> is that your first time in Brazil when you got there? What's that? First time in Brazil first was in time, 1998. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he took me to the hotel, uh, put me in a room with a couple of Australian guys who were also competing at the World Championships. Awesome. And we went and trained at the club every night, and it was just crazy. There was. A hundred crazy Brazilians in the club at a time every night, um, and uh, it was uh, it, it was it was really a huge uh, uh, huge eye opening experience. The, the guys there were were fantastic. Uh, Jiu Jitsu was at such a high level, uh, and I mean I learned things back then in, in in my travels to Brazil, and I remember thinking it was magic. And what do you uh, mean by that? Well, just certain techniques. I'm like, wow. You know, oh, you've never seen line. before. Never yeah, seen before. yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, you know, like, it's just standard basic stuff to me now. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, Brazil was, uh, that was a, a bit of a, you know, and going to the World Championships, not speaking the language, not having, not knowing anybody, not having a coach, you know. Uh, what a learning experience, yeah. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just going into something, not blindly, but, you know, definitely on your uh, on your toes. Yeah, and, and I had a great experience. I mean, I went in and I won my first fight by submission. I lost my second fight on points. And I remember uh, there was two German Jesus guys. Christ. Sorry about that. <laughs> Everyone listening, we have new tenants uh, upstairs, and they're moving in. My bad. Sorry, Peter. Go <laughs> no ahead. Worries. There were two German guys, and they came over, and they congratulated me. Um, <laughs> I think they're, uh, we should go help them. Yeah, I know. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Putting a bed they they were so happy for me. They came up. They hugged me, and I was like, I lost. They're like, we've been coming here for four years. We haven't won a match yet. You. <laughs> that was amazing. They were so happy. <laughs> and they're coming all the way from Germany to uh, to Rio. So. Wow, uh, it made me feel better about winning the first one, and losing the second one, you know, and uh, you know, uh, it was it was fun. It was a huge experience. Have you been back to uh, Brazil since then? Oh, I went back several times. Oh yeah, yeah. What's Brazil like, like culturally wise, food, the people, the weather? What's it like? Oh, the weather's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> beaches I hear are unreal. Yeah, it, it's incredible. Um, and the people are really, really friendly, super, super friendly. I mean, it can be dangerous if you're not uh, you're careful. You go to the wrong places. Luckily, I, I had a tan. My ears are a little messed up, so they thought I was Brazilian, so people left me alone. Let me see your ear. Uh, mine aren't bad, really. Cause, oh, yeah. Um, but I mean, I've got some guys at my club whose ears are just, you know, Cotton. hideous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my ears are still, you know, almost pristine, but... Um, <laughs> But enough that uh, I look like I, I might have been Brazilian because I, I it was dark and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. tanned and that. So um, it's funny we have a funny story. Uh, my partner uh, at the gym, Kevin Taylor, and I went to Brazil to train, and uh, Kevin had a friend who owned a security company, and they happened to be doing security for the Rolling Stones concert there no. in uh, Copacabana, which is the the largest concert in history, I believe. I think it was a million and a half, two million people, something like that. In Brazil? In Brazil, right on the beach. It was a free concert. Do you mind? Do you got a second? I just want to look this yeah, up. Yeah, look it up. ACDC? No, uh, Rolling Roll, Stones. Rolling Stones, Brazil. Do you know what year? Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. There. Oh. Yeah. It's... Oh wow. On Copacabana. Look, is, is that it? It was. It was huge. Uh, I just had an image of it. Yeah. Oh, it's the Pope. Nonetheless, I get it. Yeah. So. Yeah. There was How many? Two million people. Two million people? Uh, one and a half to two million. They estimated. Uh, I mean, it was a wild experience. Kevin worked security in one VIP section, which is in front of the stage, uh, stage left, and yeah. I was in stage right in the VIP section. No. So there was some famous people there: Mick Jagger's wife, Owen Wilson, some other people like that. And, Owen uh, Wilson. Yeah. Um, what year was this? I can't remember what year it was. Oh. Uh, it'll it'll show you on that. Uh, 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 it's funny. I'm also there's, uh, 2012. There's, I think National Geographic did a documentary on the largest concert, and uh, in one of the uh, scenes, in National Geographic, they run right by me, and the camera zooms right into my face as they go by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so someone called me up and said, "I saw you on National Geographic." That's uh, crazy. Yeah, and I actually saw that clip. Um, wow. But uh, I mean, it was wild. Uh, that that concert was was crazy. I mean, we had um, the 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 crowd started. It was really hot, and uh, you know there were people coming over the fence. Like I remember, I took a little kid who was unconscious, about eight years old, over the no. fence, 
and took him to the paramedics and uh you know it was just wild uh and the crowd started chanting they had a reporter standing on top of a little uh there was a little tower in our section and he was up there doing a news report and the um the people in the crowd were throwing water bottles full of sand at him. So he's doing his report, and he's ducking his water bottles are flying over his Why head. are they throwing bottles at him? Uh, it's just a crowd mob mentality, I guess. And they were chanting. I asked, the, there was a, a guard with me, a machine gun, Brazilian. I asked him what they were chanting. He said they were chanting, fuck the VIPs. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had a nice big open section. We were crammed like yeah. some <laughs> So anyway, um, after the concert, going back, everybody has to go through this one little pass between, I think it's uh, between the mountains Talking and the beach. The mic, sorry, between the mountains sorry. and the beach, there's yeah. this little pass. Yeah. And um, the police are stopping people. And uh, I guess they're, they're robbing them. So they're taking money from them, you know, fining them for this or fining them for that. And um, so the taxi driver says, uh, you don't speak Portuguese. Don't follow Portuguese. Don't follow. I'm like, well, we, well, we don't. So anyway, they got Kevin and I out of the car. And Kevin has, for some reason, a big gold chain. He's got a wad of cash on him. Yeah. And so they get us out, and the cops... Uh, they're talking in Portuguese. I'm like, no, I'm follow Portuguese. And he goes, follow Portuguese. I'm like, no, no, I'm follow Portuguese. So he pokes me in the chest with his machine gun. And he says, follow Portuguese. I'm like, man, I don't fucking speak Portuguese. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he takes, searches us, takes Kevin's cash out, puts it on top of the no. car and puts the, you know, stuff on top of the car. He's talking to us. And then he let us go and didn't take our money. And the taxi driver's like, I can't believe you didn't take your money. You can't believe you didn't take your money. So the only thing we can think of is we had two things going for us. We had a... Um, a platinum pendant from the concert, which meant that we were perhaps maybe important, I don't know. But perhaps the other thing was we had uh, Gracie Baja tank tops on. And the chief of police, apparently, or the deputy chief of police, trained at Gracie Baja. So one of those two things saved us from, wow. being, saved us from being robbed. That's a crazy yeah. story. I mean, the, one of the Australian guys I knew said he'd been robbed three times with the police there. He was driving a rental car, they kept pulling him over and asking for a certain permit he didn't have, and they'd take his cash right there. <laughs> no way. So, yeah, it was pretty corrupt back then. I mean, I don't know how if it still is now, but it was it was wild. I met a black belt at Henzo's club in New York, and he was a SWAT officer, and he said he'd be flying in a helicopter, and someone would shoot up at him from one of the favelas, and he'd take his machine gun, and he'd be like, bah, 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 bah. He goes, now with the human rights, we can't do that so much anymore. <laughs> so, and he was dead serious. Yeah, he was dead serious, yeah. So, I mean, that's what I mean. Brazil's beautiful. The people are friendly. It's fantastic. But at certain times and certain places, you could find trouble if you wanted to. Um, you know. Um, I like it. Yeah. I, I mean, like that. The people, like, you're never going to find friendlier people than Brazilians, uh, you know, uh, and uh, nothing but good things to say about being at uh, Gracie Baja and dealing with Henzo and, and uh, Henzo Gracie New York and those academies. When I go to Brazil for the first time, I'm going to buy a Grace O'Henzi T-shirt you, and just yeah, walk yeah. around. It'll Get be a good. Gracie uh, Baja, um, Gracie Baja or Henzo Gracie, and, and that'll that'll put you in good stead. Henzo's, uh, I guess, uh, pretty good friends with the president right now too. So 